Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. We are once again doing another foundation review because you guys know that is one of my favorite things to do here on my channel. And today we're reviewing the new one from KVD Beauty. This is called the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And I picked up the shade Light 08 in store at my local Ulta. Let me give you a close up look of what this foundation balm looks like. Now, when this was announced a few weeks ago on Instagram, I immediately knew that this was something I definitely wanted to try. I don't have a lot of KVD products in my beauty stash, but now that they're reinventing themselves and they're kind of just reorganizing the brand in general, I thought, you know what? Some of you might be interested in what this brand is all about now that it's under new leadership. And so am I. I'm curious. So... This sounded very interesting to me. A foundation balm that's going to be full coverage with a matte finish, but it's a balm. Like to me, the word matte and balm don't really go together, but we'll see. I am wearing it right now. This is day one of a two day wear test, 10 hours each day. Today I have it on with just the foundation, nothing else uh, except for my eye look and some lipstick, but no primer, nothing like that today. Uh, tomorrow I will wear it with a full face of makeup. But this new one from KVD Beauty retails for $38. You can buy it uh, in store at Ulta, online at Sephora, and I believe on their website. It's going to be launching everywhere within the next few days. So now let me give you guys some details about this new Good Apple Foundation Balm from KVD Beauty. The KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm is a buildable, full coverage, hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight, long wear formula and a fresh matte finish. Infused with apple extract to help nourish skin, Good Apple minimizes the appearance of pores and gives skin a smooth, healthy look, plus it's non-comedogenic. This non-cakey, flashback-free foundation quickly covers blemishes and discoloration for an instant confidence boost in full fully recyclable packaging. The Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm comes in 40 different shades and retails for $38. You do get 0.35 ounces. All right guys, so once again, I picked up shade Light 08. I did, we did a little bit of a shade match in store, but not really because at my local Ulta, everything is wrapped up. So they're not really shade matching. At least the girl that helped me didn't offer to. So we kind of just held it up to my arm and swatched it that way. I have it on right now and I think it seems to be a really good shade match. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. But let me just give you guys a brief background about my skin and what I look for in foundations. So I just turned 39 years old last week. As a matter of fact, I have normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. My major concerns are the fine lines under my eyes and my large visible pores. I tend to go more for medium to full coverage foundations. I love like a natural finish, even a satin finish. I don't mind wearing matte foundations, but I definitely want to have a nice healthy glow to my skin so I tend to play up uh, the highlighter or finishing powder whatever I can to get me a nice glow on the perimeter of my face while keeping me matte in my t-zone and as you guys know foundation reviews are one of my favorite things to do here on my channel so I love trying all different foundations even if it's a lightweight glowy dewy matte foundation whatever it is I'm up for trying it just because foundation is one of my favorite parts about the makeup application process. All right, guys, so let's get started with this two-day, 10-hour wear test of the new KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. If you want to see how this is going to perform, keep on watching. All right, guys, I'm super excited to be trying this one out from KVD Beauty. Well, let's dive into this foundation balm. Now, I think the brush is going to be the best method of application, but I have a damp beauty sponge here, and then I might even try my fingers as well. Although, I don't know. I don't know that you want to use your fingers and keep dipping into the compact and then, you know, putting it on your face. 
I don't think that's very hygienic right now, so I think the brush might be the best method of application, but we'll find out. I'm going to be using my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is the slanted brush, which by the way, I think all of the BK Beauty brushes have just come back in stock. So it is Saturday when I'm sitting down to film this video, and I want to say they restocked today. So if this is something that you're interested in, Head over to the BK Beauty website. I do have a code, STEF10. Saves you 10% off of your order. It is a non-affiliate code. I make no money off of it. It is just something that uh, BK Beauty reached out to me. They said if they could give me a code to offer my audience, I gladly accepted. So here it is for you guys to enjoy. All right, let's... Actually, I need to feel this with my finger first because I haven't even gone outside to swatch this. Oh my goodness, it is so creamy. It is just so, so creamy. So there's the shade Light 08. Now, okay, let's see. Like butter. Wow. So it says we're going to get buildable full coverage. I think this is a great shade for me. What do you guys think? Wow. I think, yeah, that's a that's a very good shade for me. I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but um, we're not doing any primer today, uh, powder, setting spray, none of that. I'm actually just going to do my eye makeup and then leave the foundation as is so we can see how it's going to wear on my normal to oily skin throughout the day. Good 10-hour wear test today. But I do want to mention that my SPF acts as a bit of a primer. Um, this is called the Milk Primer from Beekman 1802 and it has SPF 35 in it. I've been wearing this the last few days. Really, really been enjoying it. Super affordable, super effective, feels beautiful on the skin. Picked it up at Ulta and I will definitely have this linked in the description box down below. I really wanna try more Beekman products. I think they're pretty good. But that's the only product that I have on my face aside to my skincare. I, I'm not gonna to wanna to use my fingers for this. Um, although, I mean, it is going on nicely with your with the finger. I guess it's just gonna be up to you what you wanna do, but I wanna try the brush. So let's dive into the brush. Oh wow, okay. Just gonna do this side first. Okay, <laughs> so you're definitely getting way more coverage with the brush. I'm just gonna go do everything. I'll get up under my eye area too. I am going to probably just do a little bit of concealer, well if I need it, um, under my eye area. Oh wow. Definitely you're getting full coverage. <laughs> nice coverage. Guys, I have a line here from the pillow. <laughs> Ignore that. Now, this doesn't have a mirror. I mean, I like the packaging, but it doesn't have a mirror. And I keep like wanting to look at it and it doesn't. So let me grab my other mirror. Definitely a great shade match for me. Now I'm gonna take a clean, damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna pat over it because I feel like there's a little bit of brush strokes and it's probably because of texture of this foundation. But yeah, I think the brush is gonna be the best way for you guys to apply this one. And I really like the way it applied. All right, so there you can see the good apple foundation versus no foundation. So now let's use the sponge. Whoa. Wow, okay. <laughs> a little bit is definitely gonna go a long way with this. Think about coverage, this, I was not expecting all this coverage. I mean, you really don't even need to build it. Like you're getting the coverage right off the bat. All right guys, so this is how it looks with just one application. This was the side with the sponge, this is the side with the brush. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about coverage and I honestly, I don't feel like it's that mattifying. I feel like maybe it's a satin finish, but it felt nice going on and like I feel like it looks really good. Like, it looks really nice. This is something that I've been so curious about guys and it just sounds like everything I want in a foundation. Um, I don't even know that I need to 
build anything. I'm just so used to adding coverage. Like, <laughs> I probably didn't even need to do that. But um, definitely, if you don't have a lot of blemishes on your skin, which I seem to be doing okay right now, um, you're not going to need any concealer. I mean, look at my under eye area. I might not even go in with concealer under here. I'm just adding some. I mean, it's definitely, it definitely covered. Whatever darkness I had under there, it covered it. Let me just do the same for this eye. And a little bit of this product goes a long way. This is pretty amazing. I'm hoping that it lasts all day. Guys, this looks so good. This looks so good on my skin. I am, I was not expecting this. I mean, I think I was expecting just lighter coverage, you know, um, because it said buildable to full coverage. Um, I don't know. I, I wow. <laughs> wow. This is... First impression, amazing. I am really, really hoping that I can get a good 10 hour wear out of this. Uh, I am going to be wearing a mask for probably about three and a half hours later this afternoon because I'm going to go get a manicure and a pedicure. Um, and I'm not going to set this with powder. So I'm really hoping that that's not going to affect how this foundation wears. But right now, guys, I'm not even gonna put under eye concealer on. I'm not putting concealer anywhere on my face. I'm just gonna do my eye makeup and that's it. So first impressions, I'm speechless. I think it's fantastic. Um, but we're giving this a good two day, 10 hour wear test. And tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing it with a full face of makeup, just doing my makeup the traditional way that I normally would. But KVD Beauty, wow, I am very impressed and I cannot wait to see how this wear test is going to go. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is a four hour check-in with the new KVD Beauty uh, Good Apple Foundation Balm. This is what my skin is looking like. I clearly did my eye look already. And if you're interested in this eye look, how I created it, it is gonna be on my Instagram reels probably before you see this video. So definitely check that out. But as far as the foundation goes, I'm loving it. It looks great. Uh, I am getting ready to head out. So I'm going to be wearing a mask for the next three to four hours. So I am a little worried uh, because I didn't set this. We, we didn't put any powder or anything. Um, so I'm going to be curious to see what my nose is going to look like around my mouth area, what it's going to look like. I've already eaten lunch. Um, it kind of settled a little bit right in here, but then most foundations do that with me anyway. Everywhere else it looks smooth. Coverage, oh my goodness. And I don't feel completely matte. Like, I feel like it's a nice satin finish. I'm just... I'm just loving it. I so far so good. I'm really, really hoping that this is going to exceed expectations, even go beyond uh, how I'm feeling about it right now. But uh, I will check in with you guys once I get back from the nail salon and I'll let you see what it's looking like uh, probably about at the eight hour mark. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the eight hour check-in with the new KVD Good Apple Foundation. And keep in mind, I was wearing a mask for the last few hours. I did experience some rub off right here on my nose um, and a little bit on my chin. I will say that now at the eight hour mark, remember, I don't have powder, I don't have concealer, anything like that. It's starting to look a little bit makeup-y, like um, right in here and on my nose and not so much on my forehead. It's mainly like this area right here and like on my chin. And I have a feeling that tomorrow with the setting powder, setting spray, all that stuff, it's going to wear a lot better. To me, this foundation really feels like one that you're gonna need to lightly set, maybe just with a finishing powder if you're more on the normal to dry skin type. But if you're a normal to oily skin type like me, I definitely, 
feel like I'm going to be recommending to you guys that a powder is going to work best in helping this foundation really last and get you through a good work day. Um, I'm going to be wearing it probably for a little bit longer than 10 hours today. Um, but this is what my skin is looking like. The coverage is great. I mean, it applied beautifully. I'm just I was really taken back by how well it applied, how easily it applied, and the amazing coverage that I got. It's a unique foundation. It's something different, and I'm here for it. I love it. But I'll be back a little bit later to give you guys the final check-in of day one, just the foundation by itself. All right, guys, we've come to actually the... 11 hour mark almost 11 hours wearing this new good apple foundation balm from kvd beauty this is what my skin is looking like uh it's not looking that great <laughs> it's not looking that great it's definitely rubbed off on my nose like down here you can totally see you can see how cakey this foundation has got again i am not wearing it with any other products I definitely have higher hopes for it tomorrow than what it looks right now. It started off really great, but after I wore the mask for like the three, three and a half hours straight, I think that contributed to how it's looking right now. But guys, I mean, we got to wear a mask. We almost can't help that, right? So um, I, I wouldn't say I'm oily. I, I think, it, you know, it, it looks, the, my oil is under control. I have no problem with that. It definitely feels lightweight on the skin and it definitely gave me coverage. But yeah, it's really cakey right now and I'm just ready to take off my makeup and start fresh tomorrow. So higher hopes, keeping my fingers crossed that tomorrow when I wear it with my usual full face of makeup, that this is gonna do a lot better because it's definitely a unique product and I'm really rooting for it. I really wanna see this be a winner. So let's see if it'll redeem itself tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is day two, two hour check-in with the new KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm. And as you can see, I have my face makeup done, my base makeup done. I am getting ready to do uh, an Instagram Reels for my eye look that I'm going to create today. And um, just get ready to start the day. I do have a couple errands to run. So again, I will be wearing a mask on and off throughout the day but it probably won't be for as long as I did yesterday, but we'll definitely be able to tell if setting this foundation with powder is able to keep it from transferring to the mask. Um, so far it looks great. I think my skin looks really nice. I did take this up under the eye area as a concealer, but I also added a little bit of this one. This is the e.l.f. Um, what is it? Flawless Brightening Concealer just to brighten the under eye area. And I think everything is looking pretty good. Did you all all spring forward today we had to set our clocks ahead one hour I feel good the foundation is looking good and I have higher hopes for it today uh, than I did yesterday because I kind of had a feeling what happened yesterday was going to happen but so far beautiful beautiful I'm just really hoping that this is going to be something that works out for me so fingers crossed and I'll see you guys later with a midday check-in and then later this evening with my final thoughts Hey guys, this is my eight hour check-in with this new KVD foundation. This is what my skin is looking like. I never had a chance to do my eyes. All I did was add some mascara, but I have been out and about running some errands and I was wearing a mask, of course, on and off for that time. And it did much better today than yesterday. I didn't get much rub off. Um, everything seems to be pretty much still intact. So definitely, um, if you're going to be wearing a mask on and off throughout the day, the way I've been these last couple days, then this is definitely something that you might want to set with powder. I would actually recommend doing that, um, especially like on the nose and around the mouth area, since that is where the mask mainly, you know, touches. I did take a quick little cat nap and nothing rubbed off everything is still intact everything is looking good I will say that like down here and around this area which is always the first to break up on me 
it's starting to like it's starting to show those signs of wear but everywhere else looks really really good I knew I knew today was going to be a better day but it still has a few more hours to go before I give you guys my final thoughts so stay tuned All right, guys, we've come to the 10 hour mark on day two of me trying out this new KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation Balm. This is what my skin is looking like. Not too bad. Much better performance today with a full face of makeup and setting this with some setting powder. Um, I really love it. My forehead looks great. Everywhere looks great. It is showing signs of wear right around here on my nose where my oil is starting to come through. And of course, around my mouth where just foundation tends to break up on me first. Uh, again, I did wear a mask on and off throughout the day, but more so yesterday. Yesterday was the day I had it on for like almost four hours straight. But uh, minimal mask transfer today because I set it. So if you have normal to oily skin like me, even if you have dry skin, set this foundation down if you're going to pick it up because I think it's really going to improve the wear time, the longevity that you get from it. What do I think of it? What are, What is my review? Is this going to be a winner? I was speechless yesterday when I tried this one. Um, I, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it was a foundation balm. I had never tried a foundation balm before and it had it just sounded like everything I wanted in a foundation. And holy cow, the coverage is what blew me away. It is a perfect shade match for me, by the way. I'm in shade light 08, and I think it's like spot on for me. But it was just so easy to blend. And amazing coverage, and you don't need a lot of product. Whether you want to use a foundation brush or a damp beauty sponge, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Or even your fingers. You can use your fingers too. I just... Eh, it's not for me. I'm going to use this with both. I'm going to use a brush and then I'm going to go over it with a damp beauty sponge, especially if I want to like add a little bit of extra uh, coverage because it is buildable to full coverage, obviously. Um, and I'm going to do that with a damp beauty sponge. But yesterday and today, I've used this as a concealer under my eyes. With the exception of today, I added a little bit of that e.l.f. brightening concealer. But on me, it's not really concealer, it just brightens the area. And I think my under eye area looks pretty good. Now, yesterday when I wore this without setting powder, um, it, it didn't take me a full 10 hours. Like it started to break down before that because I didn't set it and because I was wearing a mask. It also kind of settled a little bit into the fine lines that I have under my eye area, but that's a really easy, just pat them out and they pat out fine. It looks great after that. But you can most definitely use this as your one and done product because you're going to get amazing coverage from this. Now, it does say it has a matte finish and I can see that, but it's not like extreme matte. Like it's a soft matte finish. And, you know, if you use like a glowy primer or like a dewy primer, um, then you're going to get that nice soft radiance coming through that healthy glow because I definitely feel like my skin has a nice healthy glow to it. And I like that. I love that actually about this product. It's just, it's just different. I don't have anything like this in my stash. Um, today wore so much better, but <laughs> Is it going to get me, like for me, my normal to oily skin type, is it going to get me a beautiful 10 to 12 hour wear? No, it's going to get me a really good eight hour wear and an okay 10 hour wear. And you know what? That's fine with me. I feel like this is just one of those products that I want to love and I still love it, even though I have other things that do a bit of a better job than this one. I feel the same way about this as I do about the Clinique Even Better um, Clinical Serum Foundation. Like this just looked beautiful on my skin. It provided amazing coverage, but also like this one, it didn't get me the full 10 to 12 hour wear, like looking flawless. Like both of these, both of these are kind of, think are similar to each other um but you're for sure gonna get a good eight to nine hour wear and then after that yeah you're gonna start seeing signs of wear but it's not bad like it, i mean i feel fine like i think my skin looks good right now after 10 hours so um guys this one from kvd beauty is getting a 
thumbs up from me. I am super excited to have it in my stash. I can't wait to wear it more. I just, I just love it. It retails for $38. It comes in 40 different shades. Now the packaging is clear. You don't get a mirror and the packaging, it's a little on the light side. Like it doesn't feel luxe at all kind of feels a little cheap a little drugstore makeup-y but i mean it's a nice little detail that they put on it and i do like the clear component that way you can clearly see <laughs> what is in it and what shade you're getting so guys if you like the way my skin looks and you have a similar skin type to me normal to oily i'm 39 years old then this might be something worth picking up I know I'm really excited for it. I'm glad I bought it and I cannot wait to try more KVD Beauty. And if you have any recommendations from the brand, things that you think I need to try, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know some of your holy grails from KVD Beauty. Let me know also guys, what did you think about today's foundation review? Is this something you're gonna pick up? Or are you gonna pass altogether? Definitely sound off below if you enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up. So that wraps up today's video, guys. As always, thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.